Okay, so the next one we have is... Oh, guys, I've heard so much about this. This is the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. You get 18 mil. Which guys, to be honest, I will be I will be really honest with you. I did think this was gonna be slightly bigger. Maybe that's my fault for not reading the description, but it's not huge, I will be honest. I do, however, love this packaging. That's such a gorgeous colour. And this one is in the colour gleam and i know they do a really really dark bronze color they do a really pink color and then this was kind of the in between this is the kind of it's got a pink hint but it's also got that kind of golden hint as well so i thought guys look at my hair oh my god i'm so sorry you're looking at me like this i'm feeling so rough okay so i do i did kind of pick the middle color just because i do I do like it to kind of warm my face, but I don't, as I say, that bronze colour, if it's too harsh, it really just takes from my face. It doesn't really add anything. So if any of you do know me, you will know that I do love a sheen. I've got a little sheen going on today, nothing too crazy because I'm just chilling out. But guys, Dewey, that should be my middle name. Like Dewey makeup to me, that is a win. Instant I'm looking win. like I've just got out the shower. I am loving my life. So this was 7 dollars which I don't think is too bad, actually, even though the product isn't the biggest, $7.99. I mean, I imagine it's going to be one of those products where you're not going to use, have to use a lot to really kind of get that glow going on. Now, I'll, I personally, my foundation just to give me that kind of dewy look, but so it's not too blinding, you know, a very natural kind of, sh a natural sheen. But yeah, as I say, $7.99, it's not too bad. I know a lot of other products that do the same thing, like the Max Strobe Cream, they're a lot more expensive as well. So I think $7.99, that's quite a fair price point, to be honest. Especially for NYX because as as we know it is a drugstore it is a drugstore brand that they are growing and a lot of this stuff is from their professional range so they have started to kind of the prices are slightly higher than maybe your super drug or your Primark but if they do the job guys come on we don't mind spending a little bit more but still saving money from not spending as much as we would on maybe a Mac makeup you know so. Let's give this a little swatch, but just before I do, that is the lipstick dried there. It has mattified, it does not, it has not cracked, and the colour, guys, I mean, look how gorgeous that is. That is going to go with so much makeup, and that I can just see that working really naturally. And I'm really excited to try that one, just because I think if you added a gloss over that, or a little bit of a highlighter, oh, guys, let's not get distracted, I'm too excited about that. Okay, so let's give this a little go. Ooh. The colour is lovely, and the colour, which I really, really respect from NYX, the colour is the same colour as the packaging. Because, guys, do you not find that so misleading? Sometimes you'll pick up a product. Like, if I saw that, I'd be like, wow, that is such a beautiful colour. But then you get home and it's really gold, or it's really, really pink, or it's really, really red. It's nice to have a product where what you see is kind of what you get. So let's give this, I'm just going to give this a little, oh my god guys, no, oh my god, guys this was $7.99, holy moly, so excited to try that, that is gorgeous, and you know I like the fact it's really really creamy and it's really movable but it feels like once you've kind of worked it in, that's it, it's not moving, it's not budging. And that colour's gorgeous as well. It's not too gold. It's not too pink. For me, that is absolutely perfect. But as I say, there are three different colours in that range. There may be four, actually. There may be a really light white kind of colour. I'm not sure, but I'm sure there's three or four to choose from. So it's great for no matter what your skin tone is. Hopefully, you can find something that will work. So very, very that is looking absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to try that. Okay, so in the next one I've got here is I've got the Matte Bronzer Powder. Um, and it is in colour light. So the packaging, again, is that kind of, this box is matte. It hasn't got the sheen. Um, it is, again, as I say, a box, which, you know, it's not, it's not 
it doesn't look particularly cheap although it isn't particularly heavy it's kind of just a basic what you'd expect a powder to come in i guess um with this product you get 9.5 grams which is not not too bad and i'm just going to look for the price of it guys it is 7.99 so for a bronzer i don't think that's too bad at all i think that's quite a fair price point um and again this one i'm sure it has quite a good shade range on this i will double check and i will let you know down below but i am sure there's quite a few to choose from so i also like as you can see this color looks absolutely gorgeous so let's hope again it is like the highlighter and we can have a little look see and hopefully it will be the same color inside okay so the actual the actual pot it has a sheen and it's actually guys i actually really like it i like the fact it's re it's quite small it's not too fat it's not going to take up too much room and i do really oh guys this color is beautiful can you see it? and do you see what i mean about the, the the packaging i do really like that about the packaging do you see how that that is that color so it's not misleading and if you weren't ordering online and you were in the shop and you did see that you would pick it up and you would go home and you would get what you expected which i really 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 like the actual product itself it's not particularly heavy it doesn't feel particularly high end it doesn't i kind of would have preferred this in kind of a matte like the mac do you know the mac powders they're they're they're, they're very matte the packaging is and it's it's heavy and it does feel high end this doesn't feel particularly high end but at the same time, it doesn't feel particularly cheap. It's quite an average kind of component for it to come in. It does have a cute little mirror there with the cover on. I'm not going to take that off just yet because obviously we haven't tried it yet. But yeah, I'm, I am, I'm really liking this. I'm loving the colour. So let's give it a little swatch. Oh my goodness, it's so smooth. It's so creamy. As you can see, it's not particularly it's not too dark that's a very as i say i don't like really really orangey tone this is quite an, a warm pinky kind of peachy kind of tone which does really work with my skin tone and for one swatch as one dip in the pan the bottom one was a bit of a failure but that is quite good pigment really i'm happy with that and again for the price 7.99 a bronzer we all know guys how long is this going to last like a long 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 time so i'm quite impressed with that one so let's have a little look see at the next one and we have we have another powder this is the, the nyx stay flat but not matte powder and this is in color nude now i've got this one because i do use the setting powder but i wanted to try a whole face of nyx so i've got this as a setting powder now again the box kind of the standard i'm learning with nyx that this is kind of the sand packaging although you can see this one is shiny and this one is matte so let's have a little look and this is 7.9 gram and it was 10.99 hmm so i will be honest guys this was 9.5 and this was 7.99 and this is 7.5 and it was 10.99 so that's quite i don't know really i'm quite surprised that this was the more the more expensive of the two because this one has a lot more products but we will see and i guess that if you are just using it for setting under your contour and under your eyes then you're not going to need a particularly massive amount if you don't like doing makeup and you do find your forehead shiny or you kind of seem to sweat away your makeup here or here or again under your eyes the corners of your lips a lot of people i know suffer with that's a re this is a really good one for for that as well so the packaging i just want to get the other one back out just so i can kind of do a bit of a comparison because they are packaged differently so we had this one it was quite a thin thin pot but still shiny and with a bit of a with the mirror inside there whereas this one this one does feel this one is slightly what fatter as you can see i love this it's so simple but i just love that dome kind of effect that looks lovely and it is it is heavier than the other one even though there's less product which kind of doesn't really make sense but it does feel it does feel really really nice guys i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie to you okay so let's open this which i seem to not be able to do oh okay okay so i'm just looking here and if my camera will allow me to focus here i was kind of looking and i was like 
I was like trying to pull it up and I was like, why is it not opening? Go, pull it down. That's really nice. Now I'm really, <laughs> I'm a really, really funny person like that. If something's a bit quirky or got a bit of it, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I like that. So yeah, love that. Love that little touch. And inside, oh my goodness, the mirror's not very clean. Inside we have the product itself with a mirror. I don't like the fact that the mirror doesn't have a cover on because as you can see it's already quite dirty so I would have preferred it if it would have come like the other one with a cover. The product itself looks looks nice, not particularly the biggest pan ever and underneath a little sponge for application. I personally would use a beauty blender but it is nice that it does come with this because if you have got it in your bag and you are on the run and you just need a quick touch up that's really quick and it's nice that you don't have to search around in your bag for an applicator so that's lovely. Um, again, I would have preferred it if it was matte. I don't know if that's just me. I do prefer a matte, a matte kind of component for my makeup. I just think it says high class and a bit more high end, but I, I'm not hating it. Um, so I'm just going to swatch this for you, although it is the kind of colour that we're probably not going to be able to see very well. Guys, like when I say not very well, I don't think you're going to be able to see it at all, because that is my perfect skin colour. So it's not it's not particularly a great swatch for you, but for me, I'm kind of like okay. So that is looking like my skin colour. So that's a that's a good thing because obviously that is a problem, guys, with online shopping. Sometimes it's really really hard to kind of gauge what colour you're going to be. So that's why I said to you earlier, like I really really love it when like these kind of products come the colour of the packaging because online shopping is so so hard and you there's nothing worse than getting your makeup getting really excited. And then having to send it back and then keep trying to that's why sometimes it is better to buy it is better to go to the shops but if you're busy like i was it obviously the convenience of online shopping is amazing so i am impressed with this and i'm sorry that the swatch guys you you literally can't see it because it's my exact skin color but i will tell you that it does feel super creamy super soft and it doesn't feel like it's going to drag or really dry out my skin so loving that Oh guys, we're down to the last two. I'm getting emotional. Okay, oh my goodness, guys, it is the big one. Shall I save that to last? Shall I save? Oh, I'm gonna save that to last. Okay, let's go for the other one. Sorry, guys, but it's the one we're all waiting for. So let's just wait. Okay, so next we have the NYX Pore Filler, and this is meant to create a satiny smooth finish, minimising the appearance of enlarged pores can be worn over, under or without makeup. I'm going to be honest, I haven't ever tried putting a primer, especially pore filling primer, over makeup. Guys, maybe that'll be a little fun trial. I mean, I can't imagine it's going to look very nice, especially if you put powders on. But anyway, that doesn't matter. So I obviously will be putting this under my makeup, live up to it. I've heard a lot of good things on YouTube about this. The only thing I am going to say, right, guys, is this was, let me just have a look, guys. Sorry, I don't keep looking down here, but I've got so many of them, I just need to, okay, pore filler. So $10.99. So as far as primers go, it's not the most expensive, it's also not the cheapest, but guys, I'm going to be honest, like, this is in the box and look, like, that isn't, it's 20 mil. Like, I don't, I don't really own that many primers because I like to use an oil on my face. Um, because I don't particularly have the worst skin, although I do, as you can see here, I do have texture here and here. Um, that doesn't particularly bother me too much. So I don't really, I normally use an oil. But I'm going to say that I don't, I thought this would be bigger. I'm going to be honest, guys, I thought it would be bigger. So, also the packaging, again, it's this, it's this kind of... It's, it's this it's this packaging i don't know if i'm loving it but then i am thankful that because obviously this one didn't come in a box and i do like the fact that there is some kind of packaging rather than no packaging it is a matte little pot here and guys i do really love it i really love the i love matte i think because you can feel it and matte to me feels expensive and it feels really nice so this is a obviously a matte that little pot here i love the fact again these products although them being small is kind of a disadvantage money wise it is a advantage in the fact that guys all of these little things a they're cute i mean come on who doesn't like miniatures i mean they're just too cute 
but B, they're all going to fit in your makeup bag without really having to squeeze everything in, which I do really like. Let's give this a little swatcheroo now. Okay. It's not... Hmm. I thought I was expecting a really light... Not really wet, but a, a, yeah, quite a wet and moist primer. But I don't know if you can see, guys. This is like... It's kind of like a balm. I'm gonna just rub. Oh, guys. <laughs> I may have to just take back everything bad or negative I've just said about that. Okay, so I'm rubbing it out with my finger, and it does feel like extremely, extremely soft. It does take a bit of working to get all the products so it's not kind of clogging together. But once you have, once it warms up on your skin, oh my goodness, that feels so soft. <laughs> That is probably the nicest, that is lovely. Guys, that is really, really, really nice. It's quite drying, it does feel quite drying, but at the same time, smooth as a baby's bottom, as they like to say. Yeah, I do like that, guys. That does feel really, really nice. Obviously, you can't see it, but I'm telling you guys, honestly, you can probably hear it. Can you hear it? It feels so smooth, so I'm really excited for that one. Okay, and last but by no means least, da -da -da, we have the NYX Professional Makeup Total Control Drop Foundation. And in this you get 13 mil. On initial thought, that is quite a lot to be paying for 13 mils of foundation. The other hard thing about this kind of product is it does come in a glass bottle, whereas the Fit Me and the nip and fab are in plastic um plastic containers which yes it doesn't look as bougie and nice and expensive but what it does allow you to do is get the every last piece of product out of there whereas this as soon as the pipette cannot pick up product you're going to really struggle to get that kind of last bit and being such a small amount in there i feel like maybe this isn't going to be the longest lasting of foundation so guys this was 13.99 so you're kind of paying just over a pound for a milliliter if you work it out like that which is guys that's quite expensive i'm not going to lie to you hmm kind of making like hmm i did think this was going to be bigger again it is i would say 13 mil so it's a small 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 thing but maybe that's my fault i should have read the description better i guess um, I got this one in the shade Vanilla. Again, I didn't know my shade because, as I say, I've never used any product from NYX before. I kind of just went for, I found a shade guide online, kind of roughly kind of estimated what kind of shade region I was in. And guys, I will say they do have quite a lot of colours. Uh, not masses, but enough, I believe, for most skin types to find what they need. Um... I've also as well, if you go onto the NYX website, obviously I ordered this through Very, but if you go onto the NYX website, you can find the shade guide. So again, the packaging is that same kind of shiny box. Um, not in love, as I've said. I don't love, love it, but it doesn't look particularly cheap or particularly high end. It's kind of just an average kind of box for a product so we're going to go ahead and open so on the back here i just want to show you if my camera will focus oh my goodness it just never focuses sorry guys so you can see here you have the light for light coverage you need one to two drops for medium coverage you need three three or so drops and for full coverage you can use four or more drops so I like how they've put that actually because that's really helpful because you know with a new product you're like do I put this on, how much do I put on. So actually I do feel like that is that is really helpful of them to put that on. Taking it out and as I said small, I'm thinking small. I love this guys, I love the pipette and it's not just because it looks nice, it makes the bottle look more professional, it looks nice and it does say here shake well as well guys so make sure you get a good little shake and ruin it. Um, but not just because it looks nice, but I'm kind of one of those, I'm a fiddly person. Like, like I'd just be sat there, like, just thinking about random stuff, like what I'm going to have for dinner, and just playing with it. So I like that. And guys, can you see? Oh, matte. I love matte. Why do I love matte so much? I don't know. I just feel like if something's matte, 
it kind of feels more expensive it feels more feels like they spent more on it and again the glass bottle is a lovely touch it is it feels like it's long wearing obviously the only downside is don't drop it on the floor because you're going to have a bag full of foundation which we've all been there none of us want it um yeah so it looks nice so i will have a little swatch of this this is meant to be a really runny foundation which i that's why i kind of was attracted to it because i feel like a lot of foundations are really quite thick and they're really 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 hard to blend whereas this just is meant to be nice and runny so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on this part of my hand where i've primed with that primer and let's see how they work together okay so i'm gonna take a little Okay, so as you can see, it's running down my hand. Oh, the colour looks lovely. See how it's really yellow toned? I love, I love makeup with that kind of yellow undertone. And do I blend it with my hand or do I try it with a brush? Let's try it with the brush. So we're just going to go ahead and pat that in there. And guys, this is my exact colour. Looking at it, you can't really see it, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a good thing for me because it means I've got my shade right and again I say this is vanilla so as you can see I'm a light person I have got foundation on but this is kind of kind of my natural colour I'm quite light so if you are light like me I'd say vanilla is nice and if you do like that yellow undertone perfect that's a gorgeous colour um okay so for you that's not that helpful because you can't see anything but for me yes perfect shade and it's blended nicely with the brush although I will say Okay, I can't really review this, but I don't want to say too much about this brush until I've tried it on my whole face because I don't want to judge it and fail. I expected this foundation to be really quite dewy, and although it doesn't feel like it's drying out my skin, it does feel like a dry foundation, and this brush has kind of made it... I don't know if the brush has kind of sucked up a lot of product, or... Because that's a tiny part of my hand, and that was quite big. That was a bit like one big drop. So I don't feel like that's going to cover the whole of your face by any means. Maybe next time I try half of the Beauty Blender, half with the brush. Because I think maybe then we can get a better kind of, better kind of understanding of what's going to apply it better. Although I do feel again with the Beauty Blender, is a Beauty Blender going to suck up all that product because it is so water-based? Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to look over that one again in my next video when we do a little try on. So guys, that's it. Um, if you wanted to know how much I spent in total, I'm sure it was just shy of... I can't see here because all the products I've been put through individually. But I'm sure it's just shy of £130, which is not... I mean, I've got a full face. The only thing I didn't get, um, which was just because I completely forgot, to be honest, was a mascara. But we all kind of have our favourite mascaras. Although, if you do want me to buy a mascara to give a little girl then do pop it down in the comments below and i will order one in especially if there's a certain type you'd like me to try you think about buying and you want to review before you spend your money then pop it down below and i will get it and i will have a look um so yeah that kind of brings me to the end i do feel like 130 pounds that was included in delivery guys as well which is 4.99 on very i don't know if that's for the same the same amount for however much you buy or not but my delivery is 4.99 so you're kind of looking at a 125 pounds hmm how do i feel about that after buying it okay so um without trying it on my face my initial thoughts are okay i'm not i'm not like sat here like oh my god i shouldn't have bought it and i have as i say i've heard great things about nyx and we've all heard great things about nyx and to be honest i don't know how i haven't tried any of their stuff already how i haven't i don't know um but yeah, for a full face and eyebrow pencil, we have got a full face here, bar the mascara. And I feel like, is £120 that much? I think it's it's not the cheapest you can get, guys. But if they work as well as, say, a MAC product, then guys, they're saving it. It's so worth it. And we all know if our makeup is looking flawless, then do we need to do any more? Not really. I mean, you can be like me with messy hair and in your gym jams, in your wardrobe and still be feeling good about yourself so obviously guys that's that's kind of wrapping up my video for today my next video is going to be a try on with all my makeup that i've just bought and shown you here i just wanted to give you kind of my initial thoughts on the packaging and how it came 
and as I said, you may be able to get this cheaper on the Nipsey actual website. I just order through Very because I like their delivery service and it is quick. And obviously, I don't like waiting around for my makeup because I'm a bit of a makeup junkie. So, yeah, that's kind of it. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for your time. I know it's been a bit of a lot. It's been, it has been a long one, I'm, I'm, if I'm honest. But I wanted to give you a full, full review on everything. So, thank you so, so, so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. And as I say, any suggestions for further videos or things you want me to try or if you do want me to get a mascara in, pop it down below and I'll reply to all of your comments. So, thank you so much. Bye.